Hi guys and welcome as usual and to share my own thoughts about the crypto world, what's happening, what's gonna happen. Today is gonna be the short video because uh, nothing has changed significantly. We moves in the same corridor that we had. Bitcoin uh, dominance 40%, EDH dominance 20.1%. There are 20,615 cryptos out there. Uh, and the global market cap is 1.12 trillion, less 2.65% uh, compared to the last day. Uh, Bitcoin price is 23,420 at the moment of making this video. Ethereum is hovering around 1,800. BNB 307. Uh, and so so on let's take a look to the market uh, let's take a look to the crypto bubbles to understand what's happening uh, and and we have small deep right now we have small deep we go in lower uh, a little bit but in general everything is quite okay we are at the altcoin season um, in a matter of fact, the uh, index shows that we are at the altcoin season. But in general, when the altcoin season, all the altcoins are growing uh, despite the conditions inside the market. But now we do have strange situation. Why? Because uh, we, we have all this, all these numbers and market becomes uh, green because like a couple of weeks even ago we saw that the market was red uh, based on top 50 performance over the last season of 90 days right now a lot of projects jumped out from the red zone and right now you do have more green uh, okay let's say it's half to half yeah it's half to half uh, but we are at the altcoin season this is not bad Fear and greed index again uh, fell down to mark of 30 to the fear. And this can be a buying opportunity for those people who didn't jump uh, in the market. Um, if you want to owe some cryptocurrencies, if you want to get uh, your own portfolio, this can be great time because we are uh, really deep for the moment. And uh, the stock market heat map also looks rad today. And we all know that um, in general, stock market affects the crypto market. When there's a crash on the, on the stock market, there's a crash also in the crypto. But we don't have uh, enormous numbers. Okay, red zone nothing special and nothing to uh, to be worried about well guys as i'm saying that we are at the bottom if for bitcoin is definitely the bottom or the area near to the bottom this matrix shows how bitcoin is moving in general from its beginning to nowadays and right now we are at the zone where it is basically a fire sale so if you want to own some cryptocurrency, uh, Bitcoin in general, this can be a perfect time to jump in to hold for a couple years. Not to swap all day long uh, between, I don't know, Bitcoin and altcoins. Not to swap the altcoins between themselves. Uh, not for intraday trading, but for... Um, for hold this cryptocurrency for a long time, for a couple of years, and definitely we're going to see uh, different numbers. We are at the bearish market right now, and uh, how many time it will take, nobody knows. Nobody will say to you that tomorrow we're going to go exponentially. No, nobody can predict the future. We can analyze, we can uh, act based on uh, the technical analysis but in general nobody will say to you uh, what price will be tomorrow so guys uh, in general everything is okay we're moving at the same corridor i told you that uh, probably we're gonna go between 25 and 22.5 23 and right now we are at 23 so this corridor is uh 
quite normal for the moment. The volatility is not so big, is not so uh, significant, so everything is is quite stable. Uh, yesterday there was uh, inflow of money occurred, uh, almost like 20 million, I, I think. Uh, not so sure, but a lot of inflow of stable coins to the market. A lot of stable coins inside of Binance. Uh, and what gonna happen? This is interesting. But I expect that we're gonna go uh, in the same corridor between 22.5 uh, and 25. When we're gonna surpass 25 and hold there for some time. Uh, then we're gonna see what's gonna happen. Maybe we're gonna go higher, or we're gonna correct. To a lot of lot of folks saying that we need to correct to 17 and even 13, 14. But I don't expect such um, such changes in the market. Uh, so I think that the fair price for the moment is uh, around 24,000. EDH is moving pretty the same uh, because. The market feels not so not so great, not so fast, and uh, Ethereum also um, moving quite in in the same pattern. But we can see that in general, uh, in general, this this line is up going, but this changes similar to this one and to this one. So we go in higher, we go in deeper, we go in higher more, we go in deeper, correcting the situation. We go in higher, we correct in the situation, probably. We can go higher, but I don't think that we're going to jump over uh, 2000 somehow significantly. And it's not going to be tomorrow for sure. BNB went a little bit deeper than, than the support line. Uh, and 307, the price for the moment. Uh, I think that we can correct even to 275 back here to this levels and, uh, and bounce from this levels. But we have not bad situation at uh, 298 to 300. So probably 300, this is uh, not bad support for this uh, project for Binance Coin. And it's going to bounce from this levels uh, of 300. We probably not going to go lower, uh, but everything can change in minutes, guys. This is crypto. So... I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not giving you any financial advice except one. Do not invest more money than you can afford to lose. So, guys, wish you good luck. Wish you big profits. Make your own decisions. Make your own portfolio. And everything's going to be cool. Cheers. Take care. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And press the notification button. Not to miss all our new videos that we're making especially for you. Thanks. Take care. Bye-bye. See ya.